Hello and welcome to Thought for February the 3rd. Our readings are Exodus chapter 9, Psalm 62 and 63, and Romans chapters 13 and 14. And our thought is, I have raised you up. Frost and hail, snow and mist, stormy winds fulfilling his word. These words are not quoted from our readings today, but from the verse in Psalm 148 that we quoted at the end of our thoughts yesterday. We recalled this today as we read of the encounters of Moses and Aaron with Pharaoh. Moses stated the words of God as to what God would do because of Pharaoh's refusal to let my people go in Exodus 9 verse 2. Uh, Pharaoh said what he would do as a result of the damage caused by the hail. I and my people are in the wrong. I will let you go, and you shall stay no longer. Verses 27 and 28. But the chapter ends with, The heart of Pharaoh was hardened, and he did not let the people go. And so Pharaoh did not fulfill his word. Now we take special note of what God had previously told Moses to say to Pharaoh. This time... I will send all my plagues on you yourself and on your servants and on your people so that you may know that there is none like me in all the earth. But for this purpose I have raised you up to show you my power so that my name may be proclaimed in all the earth. Verses 14 through to 16. The proclaiming of God's name is that his reputation became known throughout the nations of the then known world. So God fulfilled his word. The Bible is full of examples of God fulfilling his word. It is fascinating to read the example of God's word in the Old Testament times about the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ, first to bring the good news to the poor, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favour, as we read in Isaiah 61 verses 1 and 2. And then the ultimate time, soon to be fulfilled, achieved by the return of Christ, when the Lord God will cause righteousness and praise to sprout up before all nations. Verse 11. God and his Son set the example for us. When we give our word, such as in marriage or at the time of baptism, to fulfill the commitment we have made, believers have been given God's words to keep. They, in a sense, fulfill his word by the way they live their lives. Look at the words of Jesus to his disciples in John 14 verse 23. If anyone loves me, he will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come and make our home with him. We possess the word of God. We read from it every day. It becomes part of us. May that happen so that our hearts will never suffer hardening, as did the heart of Pharaoh. Well, thank you once again for joining us for Thought for the Day, where together we can open up the pages of God's Word, knowing that Word to be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path.